Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. According to my calculations, the meteor shower should start any second. Daisy, it's not even dark outside yet. And wait for it. You were saying? Whoa, it got dark really fast. Uh-huh, I know all of this because I'm a scientist. Well, a hopeful scientist. I don't have a degree or anything yet. They should give you an, a degree because you already have a science lab and everything. I know, right? Okay, let's look over here. We should be able to see it starting. Wow, you can see all of Brookhaven up here, Daisy. I know that, Molly, but look up at the stars and the moon. Wow, it's beautiful. I know, right? Science, astronomy, all of it is so cool. Daisy, I, I think I just saw one. What? A meteor. Uh, Daisy, the sky is a really funny color. What's that, Molly? Hey, it looks like it's coming right for us. Ah! Molly? Molly! Oh my gosh, she got hit by a meteor. Molly, say something. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, um, can you hear me? Well, you're breaking up just a little bit. Um, maybe you should walk into the other room of your house. I can't. I'm on top of Bookhaven Mountain. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing up there? It's very late. We were looking at the meteor shower, and my sister got hit by a meteor. I need help right away. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to fly the rescue helicopter there. Stay put, and we'll gather your, your coordinates from your phone. Wait, don't hang up. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to hang up. I better call her back. Hello? 911, are you there? Never hang up on 911. Sorry, I was a little nervous. We'll be there to pick up your sister shortly. Molly? Molly, say something! Okay, my dear. The helicopter and the paramedics should be there any minute. I don't see them anywhere! You'll see them, I promise. But my sister, I think she's well... gone! Oh, I I I'm so sorry, but... They'll be able to help you further. Where's this helicopter? Hurry up! Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> Guess I didn't have any patience at all. We're landing. Please stay in your current position. I will, don't worry. But hurry, my sister needs you. She's not even saying anything. Over here, over here. My sister needs you. Is she dead? No, she's not dead, but we need to get her to the hospital. And stacked. She got hit by a meteor. She's very lucky she's still alive. We'll hurry to the hospital, and hopefully we can save her. Molly, the doctor says you're in a coma. Please, wake up. Wake up. Huh? What? what? What's going on? Molly, you, 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 you alive? You awake? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Why am I in this hospital? You're fine. You got hit by a meteor. Say what? Hit by a meteor? That sounds insane. Molly, I'm serious. You better stay laying down. You really did get hit by a meteor. Nah, I feel fine. I'm totally cool. Are you serious, Molly? Yeah, I feel fine. I feel better than fine. I feel amazing. How could you have gotten hit, and hit by a meteor and feel fine? I don't know, but I do. And um, it's almost time for school. You don't want to be late, do you? I'm so confused right now. Being hit by a meteor should, well, end you. But you seem just fine, except for that stardust around you. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I just got this cool stardust, and that's about it. Can't believe my sister's awake. It's so weird. What did you say? I didn't say anything, Molly. Oh, I thought you said I can't believe that my sister's awake. That's so weird. I didn't say that. I thought that. How did you know that? I don't know. <laughs> We've just been sisters a really long time, haven't we? Yeah, 
I haven't always liked every minute either. Hey, that's rude! What's rude, Molly? What you just said! I didn't say anything. You said you didn't like me being your sister all the time. I, I didn't say that, I just thought it! Molly, I think that that meteor hitting you gave you, well, um, superpowers! What? Superpowers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh! Molly, you can read my mind. No, I can't. Yes, you can, Molly. Okay, I'm going to think of something, and I'm going to see if you know what I'm saying or thinking. It's going to be something ridiculous, but I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm so confused. So are you going to say it or are you going to think it? Are you going to think it or are you going to say it? I'm going to think it, but I'm not going to say it. Okay, well, all right. I'll try to read your mind, I guess. But this is ridiculous. I don't have superpowers. Okay, Molly, here goes. A hippopotamus is purple, and he walks into the science room at school. <laughs> what? A hippopotamus is purple, and he walks into the science room at school? <laughs> Why would you say that? Ah, Molly, I didn't! You read my mind! O-M-G! I did get superpowers! Wow, Molly, this is insane! I have to study you in my science lab. Not a chance! Do I look like a lab rat to you? Molly, seriously, we have to know what happened. Now it's going to be time for school soon. Bye! <laughs> Reading people's minds could be very, very fun. <laughs> this is going to be a great school day. Oh, there comes Molly. She's sort of weird. I mean, look at her clothes. Why doesn't she wear a Billie Eilish shirt like me? Hey! Savannah, that's not very nice to say. What? I didn't say anything. You said I'd look cooler if I wore a Billie Eilish shirt. Oh my god, did I say that out loud? Uh, I thought I was just thinking it. There goes Molly, reading someone else's mind. You really should be nicer, Savannah. I mean, what are you, a bully? No, I mean, I, 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 I didn't think I said that out loud. I'm sorry. Maybe you should watch your thoughts, too. Rude! <laughs> okay, that was so funny. <laughs> This should be fun. Good morning, Molly. Please read the board. Do not burn hair in the Bunsen burners. Ew! Hey, um, Professor Einkorn, what happened to your hair? Let's not talk about it. The last class gave me a little bit of a, well, crazy hair experiment. That's not your seat, Molly. Please go sit in front of Savannah. Um, okay. No, I don't want her to sit in front of me. Why not? Why do you say I don't want to sit? You don't want me to sit by you. I didn't say that out loud. What is going wrong with me? I'm going crazy. <laughs> you totally are, Savannah. Wow, this is good material. All right, the rest of the class isn't here yet. <sighs> but I'd like for you to take out your books and study quietly. If Molly could even study quietly. I mean, she'll probably end up homeless because she can't even do her homework. And she acts like she's not even smart. What? Professor Einkorn, you don't think that I'm smart? What? No... No, I didn't, I didn't say that. Wait a minute. Are you reading my mind? Who, me? No, not me. Oh my gosh, how did you do that? Please, please don't tell the principal. I don't want detention. You can't get detention. You're, you're a teacher. That's what she thinks, but we can. It's called Teachers in Service. <laughs> teachers in Service is really like detention? You're reading my mind again! <laughs> 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 Wow, this is amazing scientific material I'm gathering. I can't wait to study all this footage in my lab. Oh, there's Daisy. She's so pretty. Oh, wow. There's Lucas. I have such a huge crush on him. What? My sister has a crush on Lucas? And he thinks she's so pretty? How can this be? I like Lucas. Aww. Hi, Lucas! Oh, hey, Daisy. Uh, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Oh, I'm so glad that she's prettier than her sister. Her sister's, like, so ugly. What? He thinks I'm ugly? And she's kind of annoying. She thinks she's really funny, but she's not. Oh, my gosh. I don't like hearing people's thoughts. Oh, Molly is so rude. She could never be my friend. Ah! Everybody doesn't like me in school! Ah! Molly, where are you going? I'm going to live all by myself in the woods, where I can't hear anybody's thoughts. Ugh, 
This looks like it's far enough outside of town that I won't hear anybody's thoughts anymore. Finally, some peace and quiet. Uh, I still need to get groceries. My goodness. What if my car breaks down? I can't be late for Failed work. Failed my spelling test? How could that even be? Oh my god, a panic! Ah! I, can't I can still hear their thoughts way up here! Having superpowers is awful! I don't want them anymore! I don't want them! Ah! OMG! I can't believe I have detention again! Oh man. Detention? Molly, take your usual seat. Um, you know you're a regular in detention when your teacher writes your name and a message on the board. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly. Thanks again for making me have to sit after school with you in detention. Sorry, Mrs. Smith. Uh-huh. So sorry that you don't do your homework. Oh, boy. This is going to be the worst detention ever. I can see it already. It's the worst detention for you because you don't do what you're told. And you end up here over and over and over. You know, I have a life. I actually had a date tonight at Brookhaven Diner and I had to cancel. I haven't had a date in six months because I sit in detention with you all the time. Uh, sorry? Please go to the board and erase the message and then write, I will do my homework a million times. Oh, a million? Holy guacamole. I will do my homework. Period. Again, Molly. I, I don't want to. You have to do what you're told, Molly. I will do my worst. <laughs> Molly, do I need to give you another detention? You tell me, Mrs. Smith. Do you want to miss another date night? Ugh! Molly! Take your seat and please be quiet. Okay. <laughs> this won't be so bad. It's only two hours. Do, 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 do. Molly, quiet! Okay. <laughs> Molly, you're dismissed from detention. Molly, did you fall asleep? Huh? What? Huh? Try not to keep me in here for another detention this week. I do have a life, you know. <laughs> freedom, freedom, f -f -f freedom. Oh, I can't wait to go home and eat a cupcake. Molly, there you are. Daisy, what's going on? You know how I have that secret, well, not so secret science lab? Yeah, what about it? I, I, I created a time machine. Holy guacamole, you did? Wow, you're definitely going to win the science fair. I didn't do it for the science fair. I created a weather machine for that. Well, anyway, what were you going to tell me? Uh, it's it's so bad, Molly. I don't even know if I can say it. Just say it. Spit it out. I need a cupcake. Molly, I went to the future. And yours is dark. Your f future is dim. It's, it's, it's. It's what? It's bad, Molly. It's so bad. Can't be that bad. Yes, Molly, follow me to the lab, and, and I'll show you what it saved on my computer. It recorded the future. Whoa, that sounds pretty fancy. Yeah, you can watch the whole thing like a movie. A sad movie. A pathetic movie! Wow, you're making my life sound, well, really horrible. Molly, just come with me. Whoa, Daisy, your science lab has seriously gotten an upgrade. Look at those! Those are the dual rays that send you back in time. <laughs> Wait, what, do I turn into a squirrel? No, 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 Molly. That's just my screensaver. Oh, well, um, when's the movie going to start playing? Any minute, Molly. Scanning for viruses. Um, well, I don't think my future is going to be that bad. Look what I saw, Molly. Look what I saw! I don't want to stay at your crummy motel anyway. Just because I didn't pay you for two weeks, I mean, doesn't mean you get to kick somebody out. Rude! I have no place to live. Ugh, my stomach is growling. Hmm, I wonder if I have any money. No! Aww. I'm hungry, I have no place to live. I kind of remember my teacher saying that if I didn't do my homework and pay attention, I was going to end up in this boat. But she's a liar! Ooh. 
I wonder if there's any leftovers at the motel. Hey, don't judge. I'm hungry. This dumpster has as good a food as any refrigerator. Ooh, leftover burrito. Mm, it doesn't even taste older than a week. Mm, that's pretty good. You know, I'm getting pretty sick of eating out of dumpsters and staying in these crummy motels. Mm, I need to do something to change this. <laughs> I just got a wonderful, wonderful idea. I could rob Brookhaven Bank. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. That means no one's going to be working at the bank. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is somebody working at the bank? Hello, we just changed our hours to 24. 24-7, <laughs> <laughs> you can come in and start a bank account. Except for it doesn't even look like you have any money. Wait, what? Are you judging me right now just because I'm wearing these clothes? These are very fashionable. They're also half missing. <laughs> Before you start a bank account, you may want to upgrade your outfit. And what's that smell? Oh, uh, I had a dumpster burrito for lunch. Ooh, yuck. No, don't judge. They're pretty good. And they're free. Um, yeah, so um, I am not here to start a bank account. What are you here to do? We don't let people sleep in the bank. What are you doing with that fire extinguisher? I am robbing the bank. Now, give me all the money. Oh, don't hit me with that fire extinguisher. No, you're going to ruin all the computers. Can I pay you in a, dur a Doritos or, or, or in a burritos or a taco? Are you nervous right now? Yeah, I've never been robbed before. Well, you're in luck. I've never robbed someone before or bank before or anything before, but I'm sick of staying in crummy hotels and eating out of dumpsters, so give me all the money. Okay, H here you go. Okay, give it to me. All right. I just don't want to lose my job. What? $27? Yeah, we don't carry cash overnight. Ah, I just robbed this bank for $27? I can't even buy a new pair of shoes. And as you can see, I'm not even wearing shoes. Um, I, I should have told you before, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Do I look like I care about rules? Wait, what's that? Did you call the cops? Yeah, that's protocol. Ah! Why did you do that? Wait, is that door locked? Yeah, also protocol. You're basically going to jail. Wait, no! Oh, here, you can have the $27 back. I don't really want it. Yeah, no, no, no. You wanted the $27. You need to stick with it. <laughs> Good luck in prison, criminal. Well, I guess at least I'll have um, three meals a day and a place to sleep. Yeah, and you'll be there forever! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. Hey, keep it quiet in there. I'm trying to eat my donut. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten a donut in so long. Can I please have that? <laughs> Criminals don't get donuts. Give me it! Give me that donut! <laughs> I opened the door. Oh, close that door before she gets out! Who are you talking to? Oh yeah, I'm the only one here. Well, I closed the door and I ate the donut. <laughs> you do the crime, you do the time. Oh yeah, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you think that I can smell that, but I can't. You didn't punish me. Oh man, I'm stuck in here with stinking doo-doos! Ew! Oh, these old bones aren't what they used to be. Molly, um, I have great news for you. Oh, what is it, Sheriff? <laughs> I really need to take my nap. You've been in here for 60 years for robbing the bank, and today you're finally getting out. You can have your freedom. Oh, really? Is this some sort of trick? No, and try to be a good person. I will try. Uh, no promises. Oh my gosh, freedom. This is amazing. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. Goodbye, cruel police station. Look at Brookhaven. It looks so different. I don't even think I need this walker anymore. I feel so footloose and fancy free. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my gosh, did that prisoner just die? Molly? Molly? Well, oh well, I guess she 
paid the price. <laughs> I guess I could do some CPR. Nope, not working. She's dead. Holy guacamole! Daisy! I, 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 I spend my entire life in prison for $27? And then I die in the street afterwards? Molly, I told you your future was dim. You need to change your ways, Molly. Oh, oh this is what's going to happen. Holy guacamole. Oh, man. Mm. Molly, what are you doing? There's no food allowed in my science lab. Sorry. I just eat when I'm stressed out. And this burrito tastes delicious. Molly! Sorry. You're sticking up the whole place with the smell of taco. It's a burrito. Not a taco. Whatever! It smells like guacamole! Gross! Sorry. <laughs> I really am just freaking out! Well, Molly, you can change your future at any time. And I can go and check on it if you like. You know, once you've changed your evil ways. Really? How? Well, I can, um, go into the future again. Oh, wow. That sounds crazy. Yeah. But you need to do something about not doing your homework, not listening, you know, basically being bad. I am. I'll never be bad again. Not ever! Um, but I can't promise not eating burritos. Mm, that's so good. Molly, get out of my lab!